Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the beautiful New Dearland matching dies and stamp to make a very simple card um, that's really, really easy to make. And again, if you miss out the framing on this, you can make a really simple, quick Christmas card with it. So I'm going to start with the stamp and I've got a background here that I've already made. Now I've made this using the shaving foam technique and some dye inks. So very easy to make and there's loads of videos on YouTube and on the Crafting with John Next Door page that show you how this is made. But all I'm going to do is quite simply, I'm going to stamp the Deerland stamp onto it. Now I've chosen an A5 piece of paper so that I can do this twice. So I'm just going to pop the stamp on. Now what I have done is this was part of an A4 piece because you're going to stamp one in the middle, which I'll show you in a second, and you're going to stamp two separately. And what I'm using for this is I want to keep this sort of brown look. So I'm using Versafine, which is a beautiful fine detail oil-based ink pad, and I'm using it in vintage sepia, which is sort of brown, sort of old photo look. So just ink the stamp well, and you'll find something like a dye-based ink or Versafine. There's a lot of detail in this stamp. It will all come out. If you use other inks, you'll get a beautiful sort of distressed look to it because it's so heavy in detail. So just stamp that as normal. No problem at all. If you do struggle with pressure on a larger stamp, use something like the John Next Door Brayer just to run over the top, which you don't have to put anywhere near as much pressure on. You can see there we get a beautiful clear crisp image a little bit of that stag's not stamped so i just go back in and press where it may have missed and we get that beautiful stag and i need to repeat this because i want this a second time so what i'm going to do is just place it onto the clear piece and again push the stamp down ink it don't worry about the ghosting because you'll get that but of course, with the press to impress, it goes back over in exactly the same place. So you don't have to worry about it being a ghost image underneath. And again, just either make sure it's pressed down everywhere or use the brayer just to add a little bit of pressure onto it. Again, check the image. Beautiful, clear and crisp. So all we need to do now is to stamp this again. Now I've already done this, but what I've done is taken another piece of the background paper I made, and I've just stamped the image this time right in the middle. So that's one A5 piece, so that I've got my background piece. So we'll pop that to one side. And what we need to do next is to simply cut out the two images on there. So I'm going to just put it over, and if you can see, it fits over exactly. And whilst you don't notice it on the stamp, there's a little sort of almost clear line all the way around this image, which means it's very easy to lay out. So just make sure you've got the antlers of the stag in and the leg, and that will do it. We've got exactly the same with the stag's head, which I'm not going to use on this project, but I don't want to waste it. So again, just line it up over the top and tape it down and we'll simply cut that through. I'm using my manual machine, I'm using my Kaleido, which again is a Crafts 2 machine, um, because it's just quicker and easier to run through there. So these will fit in any of your sort of smaller A5 machines. We'll take those two pieces out. Oops, I've missed a little bit on that one. I've not rolled it through quite enough. So I'll just lay this one back on, click it back into place because I didn't go far enough. If that happens, just click your die back in and run it back through again and pull it back. I always think it's good to see that we don't always get it right. But you see there you get the beautiful stag's head and we just repeat that with the second one. So again, line up just to make sure check the legs, check the antlers, tape it down, and we'll run that through. So that will give me two of each. Now, as I said, on this one, I won't be using the stag's head. I would save that for some matching gift tags or for another card or project. But I want two, there we go, of the stags. 
And again, with the background pieces, you could stamp this again and lay this over the top to give you a completely different look. That could be the start of a whole new card. So keep hold of those scrap pieces. And we'll start to put this together. So what I've done here is I've got the piece and you could just trim this down or do it onto the front of a, a Christmas card as it stands or card blank. I've made a little frame here using the press cut stitch dot and plain rectangles which fit this exactly. And I've just done this in rose mirror card and brown linen card. So we just frame that perfectly. So we've got that framed. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the back because I've made up a card blank just with mats and layers of the white, the brown and the rose colour. So we'll just bring that in, check the opening. I want to make sure that it's at the top. There we go. And pop that on just to make sure we've got that right. And all I'm going to do then is take these two stags and I could actually lay them like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay one on top of the exact image to give it a beautiful 3D effect. And you could foil these using your Kaleido machine so you could get beautiful foiled deer over the top. So we're just going to go through and we drop that on exactly in place and because we've used the same background but in a different place you can see you've got in different colors showing through and i'm going to do exactly the same again with the third and add this over the top so i've got a real true sort of 3d look i've got a little bit in here just between the antlers so we'll take that out And we'll just drop that one on top. So we've got that real 3D deer coming out of the card. And again, you could add a little sentiment onto that, a spray of flowers or anything. But it's a really simple, quick Christmas card that you can make or winter birthday card. And you could decide to actually lock the stag or you could put the stag somewhere else. Or as I said, use those for another card or they make beautiful Christmas tags. So there's our finished card, very quick and simple, just using a coloured background the stamp and the die.